Well, more than 20 years after thousands of people died in the 9-11 attacks, some in our state are still working to heal and remember as a piece of the Twin Towers was brought to its forever home in northern Colorado. Your northern Colorado reporter, Dylan Thomas, joins us live tonight in Fort Collins to talk more about this. Dylan? You know, nearly 23 years ago, many firefighters from right here in Fort Collins deployed to New York City in order to dig for survivors in ground zero. Some of them tell me all these years later, it's still too difficult to talk about what they experienced when they were on what's called the pile. But now a piece of the Twin Towers is here in Fort Collins to help the community and those firefighters remember forever. We just don't want people to forget. Wrapped in an American flag behind Pooter Fire Station 3, a piece of history has found its home. That represents, you know, over 3,000 people who died. Under this flag is much more than just a piece of steel. It's a symbol of loss, a symbol of unity, a symbol of America, especially for local firefighters who responded to Ground Zero to dig. It was very humbling, uh, scary. We spent a lot of time cutting metal to work into where the people were. The same men who helped dig for survivors were the ones who helped escort this piece of the Twin Towers to Fort Collins. I shed some tears. Some of these men still haven't gotten over what they saw decades ago, and they may never. I don't know if I'll ever be totally healed. People remembering is probably the strongest part of our healing. Remembering is what this piece will help future generations do. And while the journey to healing is long, the pride a monument like this brings to Northern Colorado also brings a dose of peace to those who served. It was just very helpful for my head to be a small part of that. A piece of history that people can come and look at and bow and think about what the United States has gone through. It was one of the warmest feelings I ever had at that there's a lot of humanity left in the United States. Nearly 400 first responders were killed on September 11th. Those first responders you just heard from were there at Ground Zero for two weeks. But now they have this piece of memorabilia here from Ground Zero that will last many more years than that. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, thank you. And remember, Dylan is your reporter for Larimer and Weld Counties. You can call him at 303-863-TIPS or email him through cbscolorado.com.